Well guys, it's time for another autumn adventure. And this time I'm gonna be heading into the woods to set up my hot tent. I'm gonna be cooking myself a juicy steak and roasted pumpkin and enjoying the autumn views by the river. I'll be also cooking myself some pumpkin pancakes with bacon and not forgetting the syrup too. So I'll see you guys at camp. beautiful autumn's day it is. That lovely walk into the woods and just seeing the woodland completely covered in the autumn leaves. Love it. As you know I love autumn. So I'm out today with my new Pomoli Manta teepee tent. I believe it's two to four person this tent. So this is gonna be a good little test tonight to see how I get on with it. And I just fancied as the season is starting to get colder now and we're drawing closer to winter, I want to give the hot tent a go. I love a hot tent camp. So I'm out tonight for a little solo adventure at my good friend Smithy's camping location. Cheers Smithy for allowing me to pop by and use this little spot. So what I'm going to do now is set up the hot tent, get that all organized, and then I'll get some fire prep done for my evening meal, which is going to be a beautiful autumnal meal. So before the sun goes down for the rest of the evening, which will be very soon, I better get some work done. sunset at like 8 or 9 p.m. on a summer's day but sunset is in about 45 minutes and I've just come after work to uh, have a night out in the woods just to end the week you know but uh, what I might have to do next time is arrive a bit earlier and on a day when I'm not working as well but I'm in no rush tomorrow morning so I'm gonna cook up a nice breakfast then and just soak up the area. So it might be a shorter night tonight, but be a bit of a longer morning tomorrow. So let's get this finished. It's time to fit the stove in, but what I've noticed, there's quite a few midges about. It's the end of October. It's nearly the beginning of November and they're still out. But I'm gonna get this campfire on as well, as well as having a stove in there when I cook later on, just so I can sit around it and enjoy the rest of the sunlight that's here before the day does end. But hopefully I'll smoke these midges out. <laughs> they just stick around, don't they? They just stick around. They don't want to ever leave. didn't clean this out from the last time I camped with this. But I don't actually know when the last time I used this stove. I've definitely used it in the autumn or winter time 
unless I've used it for a family camp. I'm just wondering how long I've left it without cleaning it. So you know what, as a bit of a game, go on my videos on YouTube and find out when the last time I used this Winnerwell stove. And the first person, <laughs> I, have to, I have to hold hold on to this now, the first person who comments on this video and tells you what the last time I used this stove was, I'll send you a little prize as a bit of fun. So, <laughs> ready, set, go. <laughs> I'll obviously uh, double check what that video was for it to go to the right person before I upload this. So I'll be ready with something packaged, a little gift from me to you. As uh, I just want to say thank you again, guys, for your massive support on this channel. And just seeing so many new faces join the adventures brings a smile on my face. <laughs> just knowing that it brings a smile to yours just watching them. So cheers. Right. The stove set up, I need to chop some wood and get a fire on. Fireplace has obviously not been used in some time. I have actually camped here before with Smithy and a couple of friends. We cooked up some nice crumble by Camping Dan and I brought a cheeky McDonald's to the woodlands as I was working that evening as well and I thought, you know what, instead of cooking I'm going to bring a cheeky McDonald's for everyone. So we had a nice time. But I'm not sure when Smithy was here last. You might have seen Smithy a few times in my videos. I've camped quite a few times with him. Such a lovely guy. Right, let's split some wood. in the smoke zone here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying a nice Cosmic Fog collaboration, Hazy IPA, 7%. It's a collaboration between Northern Monk and Flock Brewery. Never heard of Flock Brewery, but this one, what is it saying? Step into the fog for the super hazy, super juicy IPA. Super, super. <laughs> 
and it's got some nice out of space colours on this and some nice orange colours which I thought would be themed well with this camp. Lots of orange. I love it. Mm. And my meal, which I'm looking forward to. I'm a little bit nervous actually because I've never made it before and I've never cooked with pumpkin before. As you would have seen in the title, I'm cooking steak with pumpkin. <laughs> a nice autumn vegetable to cook. And I've never really eaten pumpkin before, but I like trying new things. And I've got some nice seasoning to go with it as well, and some nice veg. And I am thinking of using the stove as I have carried it in. So I might as well use it to cook on and just chill by the fire for a bit now and just refresh myself with a nice tasty beer and just chill out. It's lovely. I don't know if you can pick that up on the microphone but there's distant church bells in the distance there which is like a uh, little reminder that civilization is not too far away but I don't mind hearing church bells I love hearing church bells it's just hearing cars and stuff motorbikes driving past now and again that you just think it just takes that little magical I'm away from society illusion you know what I've noticed which is pretty amazing with this reflective material here that fire is actually bringing in some warmth in and it's trapping it in quite nicely warm enough really I feel like I could take this off I don't know if I've just uh, built up a bit of a sweat cutting wood and sitting by the fire and stuff but it's gonna be nice and cozy in here tonight I've got my sleeping bag and I really don't think I'm gonna need it. I've got my bivy bag, more just for like an underlayer quilt for my sleeping bag and also just to protect it, um, you know, with having a stove. I will close the vents, but if there was a little spark that came and landed on my sleeping bag, I wouldn't be too, too happy really. <laughs> got a little bit left in here. I'm gonna sip this down and start preparing my meal. Right, I've got my pumpkin. What a beautiful little pumpkin as well. It's like the last one in the shops and it's looking gorgeous. Never had a go at roasting them, but I'm excited because I'm also gonna use some of this pumpkin tomorrow for breakfast. Um, so I'm gonna cut some of this, scoop out all the seeds, cut the pumpkin into wedges and then roast it. This will probably take a little bit longer than the tomatoes and the onion and garlic that I have. So I'm gonna let this just cook a little bit longer and just keep checking on it. Um, and then towards the end, I'm gonna cook my steak. And then hopefully, it's gonna taste really nice. <laughs> I never thought I'd be cooking pumpkin in the woods, but it is autumn. So let's get this cut up and prepared for my evening meal. Do you know what, I was gonna use my knife, but I'm gonna use my saw instead. <laughs>
just going to cut along these ridges. Just have to be a bit careful as it's uh, quite tough. I don't want to poke myself with my York knife. But these are the sort of wedges that I'm thinking of because you can cook with the skin on and you can just peel that off afterwards. So I'm just going to cover this pumpkin in a generous amount of oil. Give it a good old mix in there. I'm not going to cook in this pan. But I will do eventually, but it's just my little mixing bowl for now. Just to make sure it's nicely covered in oil. Now I'm going to use some of my seasoning. It's got a nice little spicy kick to it, which I think would be nice and warming on this. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. Decided to uh, shut the door now. I've enjoyed looking at the fire. There's a nice little evening view as I've been preparing my meal, but it's getting warm. Just that little bit of wood in there just to get the stove going. Does quite the impact. fires died down a bit but there's been some serious sizzling going on. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna let that just sit for a little bit and get my tomatoes and onions and garlic prepared and then I'm gonna shove it back on here and cook a bit more and it should be all done veg wise and then onto the steak. Hopefully the bed will be done shortly. Um, that will be done a lot quicker than I imagine than my steak. So let's get the steak out and prepare that and then feast. <laughs> feast. That's what it's all about. Eating well. I love it. And then I can open my last beer of the night which is just two beers I've got with me today. Horde by Norman Monk. Another orangey themed can. <laughs> Citra mosaic and comet hops. Whatever that is. Sounds good. Right, steak time. I'm gonna crack open this beer now because dinner <laughs> is nearly ready. Literally the smells, oh my word, the smells are so good. I can smell that garlic and seasoning on that steak and I just thought, you know what? I'll get that roasted veg out because the pumpkin is done, but the tomatoes and the onions are taking a little bit slow and I just don't wanna burn my pumpkin too much. So I've just chucked it in the fryer uh, with a steak, add some flavor in. Best of both worlds, <laughs> roasted and fried. Oh my word, it smells so good. And it's, uh, what time is it now? 
it's just gone half nine. So it's a late meal, but it's going to help me sleep well tonight, that's for sure. Dinner is served. Pumpkin, tomatoes, onions, a bit of garlic, some steak detective seasoning and sauce to go with it. As I cooked the steak a little bit too long to be fair. I do like it juicy and I just cooked it just a tad a bit longer. So the uh, sauce is going to help it add a bit more juice to it. But the steak itself just looks absolutely beautiful. That's really good. That is really good. Ooh. Let's try some pumpkin. Roasted pumpkin seasoning and a bit of sauce. That is actually really good. Wow. I think I've got myself a new favourite. I think what's quite nice is because it's been in the, the stove, it's got that nice like smoky taste to it when you cook on a fire. Wow. <laughs> Sweet. Good stuff that. Pumpkin. Pumpkin's underrated man. It's nice. It's nice. And all we have to do is just peel off that skin. Mm. It's going to be bedtime soon. I know that for a fact. Stoke the fire, put a log on, get all cosy, get organised a little bit. <laughs> Maybe do a bit of reading. Listen to some music, I don't know. Just enjoy being out here. <laughs> mm. Well, that food was absolutely lovely. I've just tidied up the inside of the tent, just put all my wrappers and things away and pots and pans to one side just clear the space a bit make tomorrow's job of packing up a little bit easier so i'm just gonna blow up my pillow organize my bed and lay my head and just chill out and go to sleep something you might have noticed when i was setting up this teepee i actually didn't put the teepee cover on it's not gonna rain tonight well, I hope it doesn't rain tonight. <laughs> but I thought I'll just keep it open. I'm hoping laying here, I'm about to look through it once the lantern's off. Maybe see some stars through the trees. But sometimes I just like to push it and just see how much I can enjoy without having myself completely closed off. <laughs> super warm, super cozy in here. A lovely day it's been it's nice to end the day of work and just uh, head into the woods cook a meal sit around the fire and just have a couple of beers and just listen to the sounds of the fire cracking and popping in the stove and just unwind you know so warm 
I think during the night I might actually have to get out of this, but we'll see how I get on. I've got myself in it for now, just in case I wake up cold and the wood's burnt out. I've chucked it all on now. It's uh, it's nearly midnight. I've just had some time to chill out. So I've chucked all the rest of the wood on, just keep me warm while I'm falling asleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers, and I'll catch you soon. Good night. Morning. <laughs> oh. Good night's sleep. It's currently seven o'clock exactly. Don't know if you can see that. Seven o'clock. Solid seven hours practically. So I'm feeling refreshed, I'm feeling good. And it's dark. Darker mornings too, isn't it? This time of year. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to jump out of my sleeping bag now and probably get some wood and get a little fire going on in my stove as it's definitely chiller this, <laughs> this top part of my body. Um, my feet are lovely and warm. My sleeping bag and bivy, which is always a bit difficult when you get back out of it. It's like, oh, I don't really want to get out of this, but I can't lay here all morning, so I'm going to get the fire on and just chill out for a bit. And it will soon be sunrise. So, uh, let's see how much I can see out of this tent when I get out. Because I'm looking through the little gap there. And it's still looking pretty dark out. So, there we go. Alright, time to get some more wood. <laughs> my head off. I know I'm a big advocate of wild camping and getting out there but even if camping's not your thing I, I see a lot of comments well not a lot but quite a few comments saying you know I'm not really into camping but I love watching the videos and stuff you don't as you know have to go camping to experience this just wake up early one day and just head into the woods and watch the sunrise or something Make a little flask of coffee or hot chocolate or a cup of tea. When you start the day like this, like I've always said, it's just so refreshing and healing and 
You just have a better day for it. No one else is here. So it feels like that. There might be dog walkers somewhere, but I just feel like I'm just in my own little world here, my own little planet. It's brilliant. <laughs> I love it. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna have a shower when I get home. <laughs> so nice. Freshen up a little bit. Wake you up. Woo! <laughs> Alright then. Let's get out some breakfast. Good. That's all done. Now to make the pancakes. I thought, you know what? I do like the fire. I love the campfire. Obviously with the stove, you don't get to enjoy the flames. So it's quite nice having this little campfire here. I'm thinking I'm gonna use it to cook my bacon as I use the stove to make the pancakes. You'll see what I'm gonna do shortly. I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna rest this over the fire, just like so. And these little forks here that are already here for me. I'm thinking of laying my bacon over this let it cook that way <laughs> it should cook the bacon quite nicely as well first time for everything in the woods right the bacon is sizzling nicely slowly cooking there but I'm gonna start preparing my pancakes um, in the past I've made banana pancakes at home which just consists of self-raising flour if you want them nice and fluffy, milk, eggs and banana. But instead of banana I'm going to use pumpkin, my roasted pumpkin. So it's nice and soft here. I looked online to see if like what sort of pumpkin dishes you can make for breakfast and pancakes was one of them. So this is going to be my substitute for banana. Um, so what I need I believe is half a cup of milk self-raising flour, half a cup of that. So I'm gonna put that in with the milk. <laughs> it just completely just falls out. There you go. And then, the pumpkin. And now I'm just gonna give this a good old mix until the consistency is nice and smooth. This is a first for me. Pumpkin pancakes and bacon cooked over the fire. <laughs> Let's give it a go. 
see what the see what the pancakes taste like on their own first. Looks good. Nice and orange. Mm. That is good. That's a good pancake. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Good breakfast, so sat around the fire. Perfect. Pancakes in the morning. Can't go wrong. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Really good. And that bacon cooked nicely on there as well. Nice and crispy. Mmm. I've never had pumpkin pie. I know a lot of you um, American viewers, the majority of you I'm sure have had pumpkin pie. Never had it before. I'll have to give it a go sometime, maybe I'll cook it. Cook it in a Dutch oven or something. <laughs> but it's been such a lovely time. Such a lovely time. Calming, relaxing, healing. Beautiful. completely quiet here apart from hearing the church bells last night it was nice that <laughs> well that breakfast was beautiful but it's now time to pack up so it's time to put away the stove and the tent and pull out the fire Well, there we are. Bags on my back and my tent and my stove ready to be carried back up through the woodland and over the field to my car. It's been such a lovely time. It's been absolutely perfect cooking some beautiful autumnal meals over the campfire and on the stove. It was so nice relaxing by the river this morning, feeling refreshed and energized for a new day. It's been fantastic and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed camping out today. But until next time guys, remember to stay wild and stay safe. Peace. <laughs>